Now with a report on heart defects in children. Here's our reporter, Laura Windsor. Pediatric cardiology has progressed from only being able to diagnose heart defects in children and newborns to surgical interventions performed even before birth that result in longer, healthier lives. Dr. Michael Silka of Children's Hospital Los Angeles discusses this complex and evolved specialty in medicine. The treatment of children with heart disease has progressed tremendously in the last 30 years. I think we've probably made more progress in the treatment of heart disease in children probably than any other area of medicine. The Division of Cardiology at Children's Hospital is one of the larger programs in cardiology for children in the country. Um, pediatric cardiology itself is a fairly complex discipline in medicine. It really is a combination or uh, amalgamation of several different subspecialties. Most of the defects that the children are born with can be recognized uh, at about 20 weeks of gestation. That is when the mother is four or five weeks, four or five months pregnant. And uh, these are diagnosed uh, using methods of fetal ultrasound where basically an image of the fetal heart is made by bouncing sound waves uh, off of the fetus. And we think this is a great advantage to the family uh, to let them know if there is a problem, first of all. And second, to be able to discuss with them and, uh, uh, in, in a, in a, in a non-emergency type of situation, if their child has a heart problem, what the treatment options are and, and what they can expect. Most of our diagnosis is made by what we call non-invasive methods, basically where a small probe or transducer is merely put on the chest and using ultrasonic um, uh, energy waves, basically an image of the heart is produced. And we have other more sophisticated methods uh, which involve the use of um, magnetic resonance image and also the cardiac catheterization laboratory when we need very specific information about the heart's defect. What's evolved over also in our field over time is that the cardiac catheterization laboratory has largely gone from a diagnostic area to a therapeutic area. Nowadays, we often in the laboratory are able to diagnose and treat the child's heart defect at the same time. And this includes both problems with the heart's anatomic structure as well as problems with the heart's uh, beating. The heart beats too slow, the heart beats too fast. These are problems which have largely evolved to be problems which are now taken care of uh, in the heart catheterization laboratory. Part of how we define success in cardiology is based on what we start with. At times we deal with hearts that only have two of the four normal pumping chambers developed and we will never be able to make it into a complete four chamber heart. Uh, we devised methods of working around some of the shortcomings of surgery and these children we know can survive well into adulthood and lead relatively normal lives but I think would be a little bit of an overreach to say we've cured these patients completely. But we've made a lot of progress and largely the, the, there are very few defects that we do not consider tr can be treated and the patients significantly improved in pediatric cardiology. Advances in pediatric cardiology will continue, helping more children to lead normal lives. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.